Hey y'all. Just gonna tag a little something down here. Becca. How you doing, girl? Hey, Mama. I'll get this set in my little holster thing here. That way I don't make y'all dizzy. I don't even, I don't want to make myself dizzy either. I don't know why it's saying that y'all came in twice. I have no idea why it's doing that, but here we go. If we get enough people on tonight, I will play um, either Family Feud or Halloween Trivia. It really, it's up to y'all. If we get enough people on, we will play either, whichever one y'all want to play. So, win a free piece of jewelry, most likely. Or it, it could be a free piece of jewelry. It could be no tax. It could be a lot of different things. But most likely to be a free piece of jewelry. Just giving a few minutes for everybody to get in here. Hey, Jessica. Hey, Steph. Hey, Colleen. What y'all up to tonight? Y'all doing all right? Is y'all signal okay? Is anybody getting thrown out or anything? Or it might just be the way this thing is acting on my end. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. It's possible. Okay, flower. Waiting for everybody to get in here. I'll do my little spiel and get it out of the way. You see the red button in the top left hand corner? That means I'm live. If you don't see that, that means this is a replay. If you're watching the replay, you can still claim a piece either by messaging me the number, describing the piece, or screenshotting it. And if it is still available, I will get it to you. Hey, Steve. How are you doing? Hey. I'm doing good, Stephen. Is everything going okay with you? And if anybody has anything particular they want to see, let me know. Because I've got, I've got rings, I've got bracelets, I've got earrings, I've got necklaces, I've got vintage and new pieces, I've got some kids' earrings, I've obviously got just women's jewelry, and I've also got some from our new men's line too. So if there's something that you in particular you want to see that I haven't showed yet, let me know and I will grab it for you, okay? Let's see. Who we'll start off with? I'm darn blasted. Let me. <laughs> one second. I'm. I'm a goofus. There we go. I meant to tag that website at the bottom. I'm losing my mind, y'all. I tagged my website at the bottom. So if there is anything that y'all want that you don't see that I have on hand, I will most likely have it on my website because I, has, I have a tons more of variety on my website and men's and women's jewelry. So you can go there and shop on my website 24-7 and it will be sent straight to your house. Start doing your early Christmas shopping on there or whatever you need to do. Okay. This first one is going to be 537.
This has got the lobster claw and extender on it. It's got the lobster claw and extender on it. It's kind of got the heavier chain holding it. And then it has these hunter green kind of pearlized beads. It's got the hammered silver discs on it and two different sizes, the smaller ones and then the larger ones. And it kind of dangles, kind of sounds like a wind chime. But that is a beautiful pearlized hunter green bead going all the way around it with those silver hammered discs. This is the only one I have left like this. And this is a vintage piece, so it cannot be ordered anymore. This will make a really cute gift for anybody. A little stocking stuffer. If you like that one, that is $5.37. Yes, it is pretty. Had multiple. I think I had necklaces that will resemble that and more bracelets, but that's the only one left I have like that. Uh, let's see. This one would make a really pretty Christmas gift, too. This next one is $5.34. This has the silver fish hook backs. And it's got those really pretty clear rhinestones. I'm trying to get them to cooperate with me. They just don't want to stay where I put them. See how pretty those are? This does have the lobster claw and extender. It's kind of a delicate chain. And it comes down to more of the clear rhinestones on this side and this side. And then it comes down to the little strand hanging down by itself with all those pretty clear rhinestones. With this one at the end. It's a really pretty, elegant looking necklace that you could put with anything. Whether it be blue jeans or a dress. So it would make a really pretty Christmas gift. And this is also a vintage piece. So this can no longer be got. It can't be ordered off the website. And this is the last one I have left. If you like that piece, that is And looks like we have we have a few people in here, so we should be able to play um, a game to get in the drawing for a free piece. So I need some feedback, kind of like a vote. Would y'all prefer to do a Family Feud trivia, or do you prefer to do Halloween trivia? Let me know. This next one is five nineteen. Yes, it is. It'll come down to about here with that that length part on it, the longer part, but it's really pretty. That is 519. And it is a stretch bracelet. And it's got this navy blue beads. Hey, Deb. And it's got the little silver rings in between. It's got the round navy blue beads and kind of the rectangular navy blue beads. The majority of the first ones I'm going to show are all vintage pieces, including this one. Which means they can no longer be gotten on the website. But this is a really pretty simple navy blue stretch bracelet. 
and this is the only one I have like this also. If you like that one, that is number 519. So unless somebody has a different preference, we'll go with um, the Family Feud Trivia. Now this next one will be a really gorgeous Christmas present. Hey Luana. I think my I think on my side it's a little possessed because it keeps popping up there that people who have already been have already in here and it just keeps showing that y'all are in here. I don't know if it wants me to wave to y'all a hundred times or what, but I think it's possessed personally. This next one is five twenty five. This has the silver fish up backs. Then it comes down to these really pretty white crackle beads kind of look like cracked eggs. This has the lobster claw and extender. This is a thicker, heavier chain. It is a short necklace, but it comes down to all that beautifulness. I call this the Egyptian necklace because it looks like it's got an Egyptian feel to it to me. And it's got all these silver plating here with all the little filigree work in it. And it's got the smaller white crackle beads on each side. And then it's got that big statement bead in the center, that white crackle. Makes it kind of look like a shield. And that's about where it would hang on. Because this is a short necklace. You can make it a little longer with the extender though. But it is really pretty. Thanks, Luana. So that would make a really beautiful Christmas present. And this is a special piece that was never able to be even ordered online. This was a special piece that was sent in with an order. And if you like that one, that is $5.25 for the White Crackle. Okay. Show four pieces, so let's try a Family Feud trivia question, okay? And remember, your first th top three answers is what we're looking for. The number one answer gets three entries, the number two answer gets two entries, and the number three answer gets one entry. Yeah. I think it's really pretty necklace. Let's see here. Hmm. Trying to look for a good question. Okay, here's a good one. Name an invention that we are really glad was invented. There are nine answers for this question, but we're only looking for the top three. Name an invention that you were really glad that was invented. And also, if y'all share my video, share it publicly to your page. You can also get an entry into the drawing to win a free piece. Can opener. Uh, oops, I glassed it. I better move this darn clip over so I can see my answers here. Um, can opener is actually not on there. 
I'm surprised. Because it's very difficult to open up a can with a knife. I know from personal experience. Refrigerator. Let's see. Ironically, a refrigerator's not on there either. I'm very surprised a refrigerator's not on there. Hey, twin. I don't, I don't know how I missed you coming in. So sorry. How you doing? And TV is the number one answer. So, you got the number one answer, twin. Radio was not on there. Which is surprising, because I, I love the radio. Uh, let's see. Internet. Not specifically the internet. But close. Because, Steph, um, usually it means you're a little behind, so you gotta come out and come back in. And that should fix your problem, okay? Washer. Uh, no, washing machine's actually not on there either. Dryer. Nope. Dryer's not on there either. Hey, Salvador. Showers. <laughs> no, that's not on there either. Computer. Yes, computer is on there, but it's the number four answer, Deb. I've got the number one answer, which was TV. We're still looking for the number two answer and the number three answer. And these should be really easy answers. Your phone. Rachel, you got the number two answer also. So you got the first, the number one and the number two answer. Toaster. No, toaster's not on there. Surprisingly enough. Hello. Hello. How are you doing tonight, Salvador? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, the question is, name an invention that you were really glad was invented. Looking for the top three answers. We've got the first one and the second one. We're looking for the third answer now. Microwave. Microwave is the number six answer. Car? Exactly. Well, they had his automobile, but yeah, you get the point. So, you got the number three answer. Let me let the, get all these answers written, all these names written down. So, the top three answers were, number one was TV, number two was telephone, number three was automobile, number four was computer, Number five was electricity. Number six was microwave. Number seven was airplane. And number eight was remote. And number nine was air conditioning. So, five of these for Rachel. If my pen will decide to cooperate with me and stop being a pain in the butt. I think you're a little behind, uh, Sis too. <laughs> and one for dead. Telling you, this thing is possessed. All right. So I will show four more pieces and then I will give y'all another question. Oh. That thing is going absolutely bonkers. Okay. One second. Okay, one second, y'all.
Okay. Sorry about that. All right. This next piece is 502. Hey, Kayla. Yeah, it's acting kind of... Okay, it's just the internet. Okay, gotcha. Anyway, this one's 502. This has the silver fish hook back earrings. I think we're all a little lagging a little bit. Because mine is it, continuing to do it, but we're going to just roll with it. This has the fish hook back earrings in silver. And then it has these really pretty kind of blood red rhinestone earrings. This does have the lobster claw and extender. And it is a heavier chain. This is a triple layered necklace. The first layer has this really cute silver key with the clear rhinestone at the top. The second layer. Oops, let me see it turned around here. The second layer has this really pretty heart with that design in the center. Kind of looks like a family crest to me. It's really pretty. And the final layer has this here that it's kind of up and down. It almost looks like it might be little stick people with uh, leaves above it, above it with the little red clear rhin or the red rhinestone in between, or little ants or something. I can't really decide. It's really up to y'all to decipher. But it does have the leaves up here with the red rhinestone here. And then it comes down to this really pretty silver tassel here. Now, like I said, this is a triple layered necklace. So on, it would look like this, which would be a really pretty Christmas present. And the third layer makes it come down to about here. But it is really pretty. And if you like that one, that is 502 for the triple layer necklace. Hey, Alma. Whoops. <laughs> 502 for that one. My thing is going absolutely crazy. Okay, this next one is 536. This has the silver fish hook backs. And then it comes down to these really pretty silver feathers with that beautiful bright orange bead on there. And these are kind of on the longer side. This is about where they'll fall at when they're on. So they're longer than the earrings I have on. But that's about where they'll fall to. And they're really cute feathers. Those would actually make something really cute to wear for Halloween with that orange bead on there. And if you like those, that is 536 for the silver feathers with the orange bead. 536. Okay, I'm going to show this one as a set. You do not have to buy it as a set. Uh, they just match really well. They come, match perfectly. So, I'll show them as a set. This one is 538. Thanks, Rach. I'll put you in the drawing again. And like I said, anybody who shares the post publicly will get put in the drawing for a free piece. Okay. 
Okay. 538. This comes with the silver fisher back earrings. And then it comes down to these silver pearl beads. These are silver. They kind of, to me, they look like they got like a little hint of purple to them. Like a little purple tint. But that's just me, maybe. I don't know. But they are silver. They come with the lobster claw and extender. And then all the way down is all those really pur really pretty <laughs> silver pearlized beans. Until you get down to the bottom here. And then you have these five beads that are encrusted with all those beautiful clear rhinestones. And this is a short necklace. So it will fall to about right here on you. Maybe a little longer because of the extender. Yeah. Yeah, I think you got one of these, don't you, Deb? I think she's one of the ones that took the, my other beauty mist necklace like this. And to match it, you have this beautiful stretch bracelet that has the identical beads on it. Hey, Kelly, thanks. I will put you in the drawing. That, yeah, purple cast. That's the words I'm looking for. It's got a purple cast to it. And this one also has that encrusted clear rhinestone bead at the center to match the necklace perfectly. So you've got the necklace and the stretch bracelet. You can either do 538 necklace, 538 bracelet, or 538 set. Because that would make a really beautiful gift also. And they match perfectly. 538. Get your name down, Kelly. All right. Let's see. I think I need to show. I'm going to show one more piece because I don't consider the set a piece. I'm going to show one more piece and then I'm going to ask y'all another question. Ah, get off of there. It's not the one I meant to pick up. Oh, I forgot. I've got all this over here. I had jewelry for days. Okay, I'll, I'll get to it. It's all good. This is 527. This is a wide stretch band in silver. And for those of y'all who don't know, these fit sizes 5 to 10. And you can make them a little bit bigger by, ironically, using a hair dryer on it. And I can tell you how to do that. You just send me a message and I'll tell you how to do that. But that is a silver wide stretch band. And on this side, it's got that beautiful raised black stone. And then it's got those silver rhinestones that kind of look like a crown on the bottom. It's actually kind of, it's almost identical to the stone that's in my ring. No, probably actually that will fit on my finger really well. I, but I got a ring on that one, so I'm gonna put it on this one for y'all and show y'all what it looks like on. So that's what it looks like on. And if you like that one, that is 527 for this beautiful ring. And like I said, mine's it's similar to that one. So mine's a thin band. Okay, now, for another trivia question. Hey, Bobby. And if I accidentally miss you coming in, please excuse me. Hey, Todd. Because on my, my side, it keeps showing everybody that's already in here. So when you come in new, you just kind of get 
tossed into the pile of what it's sending me on this end. So I'm trying to keep a good eye on it so I can greet you as you come in. Okay. All right. Hmm. Okay, this one's a good one. A drink that tastes better when it's very cold. Deb might not agree with this, but I do. <laughs> Name a drink that tastes better when it's very cold. And there are eight answers. I'm looking for the top three answers. How you doing, Todd? Beer. I know that was on there because I just saw it. Oh, when I found my question, here it is. Beer is actually number one. So you get three entries, Salvador. Milk. Milk is number seven. Tea. Salvador, you got the number three answer also. So you got the number one and the number three answer. Soda? Yes, that's the number two answer, Deb. Yes, milk is one. So I've got all the answers. Let me get my stiff here. I know the answers are going to keep popping up on my end because everybody's a little farther behind. Whoopsie. Just give me a second. Get these entries put in here. And then two entries for Deb. Okay, I got those put in there. I will give y'all the whole list of answers. All right. Number one was beer. Number two was Coca-Cola. Number three was iced tea. Number four was water. Number five was lemonade. Number six was Pepsi. Nah. I still gave that one to you anyway, Deb, because you said soda. It's on two different ones. Whatever. <laughs> uh, milk was number seven, and orange juice was number eight. So that one was a pretty good one, too. Uh -huh. Let's see here. I'm going to be overrun. I'm going to mix it up a little bit. Instead of, I don't need to show all the um, vintage at one time. Okay, four more pieces and then I'll give y'all another question. This is 307. Hey, Linda. Yeah, I completely missed you coming in because of all this coming up there. How are you doing, Linda? This has the lobster claw and extender. I kind of call this the Too Faced bracelet because it has two of the prettiest things that you could wear. It's got on this side, it's got all those beautiful, kind of bigger, clear rhinestones, that little be beautiful bling to it. And then on this side, it's got those silver, 
pearlized beads. I'm sorry. If y'all hear something in the background that's a little loud, I think I put it down lo low enough that maybe it doesn't affect anything, but Adam's Family Values is playing in the background. If that is too loud on y'all's end, please let me know. But I got those beautiful, clear, blingy rhinestones on this side, and those silver pearlized beads on that side. So it's got all the beautifulness. I live in Kentucky, Linda. Where do you live at? It's a really beautiful bracelet, and it'll make a great Christmas present for a little girl or a woman. And if you like that one, that is 307. Hey, Lena. How you doing, girl? 307. Hey guys, I have not forgot about y'all. I do have men's jewelry, and I promise I will show it to you. I ain't gonna leave you hanging, I promise. This next one is 323. Oh, okay. I know Coffeeville, Mississippi very well. Mississippi is my second home. This is 323, and I still have a lot of family there also. I think I've got some family in Coffeeville, actually. This is Silver Fish and Backs. This has those beautiful pink moonstones. And that silver kind of encrusted. It almost looks like a, a horse hoof to me. Hey, Kelly. And then coming down, it's got those beautiful pink moonstone round beads here. And then a second row of them right there. And it's really cute and dangly. These are so freaking adorable. These would make a great gift for a little girl or anybody really. Because they're smaller, so they'd make a great gift for either one and they're not heavy at all. And this is about where they hang at. And it's got those beautiful pink moonstones on there. And these are another pair that are special, so you cannot buy these on the website. If you like those beautiful earrings, that is number 323. I am going to show, as soon as I find my, where did it go? I'm going to show some, there it is, some uh, men's jewelry for y'all. Poor guys. You probably think I'm bluffing when I say I've got men's jewelry. I promise you not. I promise, I promise I've got it. Let's do a show. I'll show both of these. And then I'll give y'all another question. I'm going to show these separate numbers, but these are a perfect match for each other. This next one is 322. And the men's line... And I say it like that because women can wear these too, obviously. Because these are beautiful necklaces. The only difference with the men's line, though, is they don't come with earrings. But they do still have the lobster claw extenders on them. This is a thicker chain. It's just a simple silver chain. Get over there. And this one's a thicker one. And it comes all the way down, like that. Just an awesome, simple chain. See guys wear these all the time. And this is a shorter one. So it'll come to about right here, but it's still one of those that you can just slip over your neck. See? And you can make it longer with the extender. But just like it is, that's where it'll fall on you. If it doesn't get hung on my earring. Get off, get off, get off, get off. Oh no! Oh no! Whoops. Technical difficulties, y'all. Hold on a second. Oh, it, it decided to take my earring with it. So I gotta reapply the earring. 
get back in there. Come on, get back in the hole. There we go. One in my earring, I guess. Jeez. <laughs> but that is that awesome necklace right there. So it is a men's line necklace, but you can get it for a woman too. It is a heavier necklace. This particular one is. And if you like that one, that is three twenty two for that one. Three twenty two. This next one is 317. This is considered an urban bracelet because of its pull apart design. You can pull it apart and then tighten it like that. This is the silver chain bracelet that matches that necklace perfectly. It's got the, I can't talk y'all. It's got the thicker chain design. So it matches that one perfectly. And it can fit anybody with the the drawstring to it. It can be really big. And when I mean anybody can wear this, I mean anybody can wear this. That's the maximum size of this bracelet. See how huge that is? And then you can tighten it right here by pulling these strings together. So I really mean anybody can wear this. And it is really cool bracelet. If you like that one, that is three seventeen. And just in case I did not put that out there, and if there's anybody on that doesn't know, everything that I have, all the adult jewelry I have, is only five dollars. I do have some kids jewelry. Um, oh lord, I dropped something. Not good, not good, not good. <sighs> but everything, all the adult jewelry is $5. I do have some kids' earrings still. Um, I will show those upon request. Those are only a dollar. All kids' jewelry is a dollar. All adult jewelry is $5. That's three seventeen for that one. And I will give y'all another question. And then try to figure out what I dropped over here. Not me. Not sure. Okay. Okay, let's see here. Oh, this is an interesting one. If you could bring someone famous back from the grave, who would it be? Who would you choose? There are six answers. Looking for the top three. Personally, the number one answer, I would totally do. So, if you could bring someone famous back from the grave, who would you choose? Yes, ma'am, I do. I have some kids' post back earrings. And some kids' Halloween um, fish hook back earrings. <laughs> Deb, I saw your answer first. Elvis is the number one answer. Did I give that away when I said I would do that? I would totally bring this person back. Did I give that away? Still looking for the number two and the number three answer. And Linda, if you would like to see those kids pieces, let me know and I would be more than happy to show them to you. I see your answer, twin. I'm pretty sure that's on there. Let me look. Um... Actually, I think both, I know both of those answers are on there. You got the number two answer, twin. Oops, let me find it. Hold on. Oh, I'm sorry. You got the number three answer. Jesus is number three. Marilyn Monroe was number five. 
Michael Jackson. Ironically enough, Michael Jackson's not on there. <laughs> okay. It was good, though. Okay, Linda. After this, um, I get my words percolating here. After uh, we do the que this question, I will show those uh, kids' pieces for you. Oh. I need to get your entry in there, twin. So you got an entry because that was the number three answer, so you get an entry. Still looking for the number two answer. Oh, I think I know which that one is. And if y'all have a pro of uh, an issue getting the number two answer, I can give you a clue. The Duke. No. He's not actually on there either. And I know who you're talking about too. But no, he's not on there. Princess Diana. Nope, Princess Diane is not on there either. If y'all need a clue, let me know and I will give y'all a clue on the number two answer. No, Bob Hope's not on there. No, Washington's not on there. Clue. Okay. The clue is the number two answer. He is a president, or he was a president, and he was assassinated. That should be plenty of clue for you. Janice Jackson. No. Janice Jackson wasn't on there, no. Heath Ledger. No, but I agree with that answer. Lincoln. No, it wasn't Lincoln. It was newer president, not Lincoln. The guy all fast and furious. Paul Walker. No, another good answer and another one I would actually agree with. Kennedy. You got it, Salvador. You got it. Kennedy. John F. Kennedy. It doesn't say John F. on there, but it says John Kennedy. It might not be the president, but that's the best clue I have for that one. So you got two more entries, Salvador. Is there, is, can anybody think of anybody else that would be a John Kennedy? Other than John F. Kennedy? Am I crazy? Or what? Let me know if y'all can think of anybody else that would be. And I will show those kids' jewelry because I promised I would. Shipping for one to four pieces is $4. For five or more pieces is a flat rate of five. If you spend $100 or more, that is free shipping. Okay. Good, Deb. Good to know. <laughs> I wasn't sure on that one because I'm so used to being it showed as John F. Kennedy. Oh, 
Okay. So much, so much, so much jewelry. And, okay, Linda, I'm showing those kids' pieces now. Hey, Steffi. How you doing, girl? Okay, this next one is 538. I only have two colors left in this one. These are the post backs. And these can be for an adult or a child. I have a, uh, the kids' earrings, too. And they are awesome. And these have the white rows. And it's kind of like a studded stem there. And it looks like it's got a star at the end of it. It's also got a white pearl and a clear rhinestone on there. I've got one left in white. And then I also have two in pink. So I've got the white and the light pink. On their backwards, really? How are they on their backwards, Twin? Please let me know. But this is the white ones. I only have one pair of the white ones. And the light pink. I have two pair of the light pink. So you can either have 538 white or 538 pink. And then I have the other kids' earrings. Paris Towers. I thought that's what they look like. But it's... Is that what that is? Seriously? How the heck did I miss that? Huh. I'll be that gone. I think it is. I never noticed that. It's hard to tell because of the rose right there. But yeah, I guess if you turn it that way, it looks like the Paris Towers with the rose at the end. Really? Huh. I definitely need to look at that. I didn't pay that much. I didn't even pay attention to that. The bats face the back. Really? And I do have some more bats. I'm going to show those. What is it? Which one? These? Okay. Cotton picking. Other number went. Nuts. Okay. I'm not going to give these a number for this particular situation. Face the back. Okay, these are the other kids' earrings I have. Alright, listen here, bats. Don't play with my emotions. Yeah, they're making me batty. These are the silver fish hook backs. And I only have... Right now in front of me, I've only got this one color in black and orange. 
I could have swore I had a pair in black, orange, and white. But, for the sake of argument right now, <laughs> let's say I only have these, and we have two pair in black and orange. Of the kids earrings. These are bats in black and orange. And I have two of those. So if you like these, you can just say bats. And tell me how many you want. Because I had so many of them when they first come in. Because they come in like ten in a pack in multiple colors. So... driving me batty. I send invoices to your email. I'll get your email at the end of the show. Um, and I'll send you an invoice, and you can use pretty much any type of debit card or credit card or whatever to pay the invoice, and then I will ship it out to your address after I receive payment, and I'll just send it to you in the mail. That's how that goes. And um, I do one to four pieces is four dollars. Five or more pieces is five dollars. Yes, ma'am, I sure do. When I send the invoice, it will uh, allow you to pay with your card. Um, I don't see your information. It's strictly for your eyes only. I only see when it's paid. I don't see any of your card information. So that stays all only your business. But I usually send my invoices through Square. And when they pop up in your inbox, they'll pop up under Southern Girl Bling. Okay, let's see. Let's find this. Show you some more adult pieces here. This next one is 56. This is a beautiful necklace. This has the silver fish hook backs. And Linda, if you have any more questions, please don't be af afraid to ask, okay? I'll be more than happy to answer any questions you have. Silver fish hook backs. And it comes down to these really pretty light pink pearl beads. This also has the lobster claw and extender. This is kind of a doubled layered necklace. Because on this side, you've got that thicker chain, and it comes down to these kind of teardrop, clear rhinestones. You see all that bling hanging off the little silver bars? See how beautiful that is? And this is the full strand of that same beautiful light pink pearl beads that falls behind the necklace. To give it that layered look. And it is a short necklace. So it can go to about right here on you. And that's about the way it will look on you. You can make it a little bit longer with your extender. And it is a beautiful necklace. I even saw, have a, uh, seen a little girl wearing this one. She, her mom got, got it from me. And she was rocking it. I actually have a picture of her on my uh, VIP page of her wearing this. It's really pretty. And really blingy. And would make a great Christmas gift, too. If you like that one, that is number 56. For this beautiful vintage piece. 56.
Ashley Lamb. I didn't know Ashley Lamb was in here. I guess I can't see her. Um, if she's not on my friends list, she might not show up until she um, puts in and like gives me a comment or whatever. She probably won't pop up on my end. But Ashley Lamb, if you're in here, hi, I'm Ashley. This is paparazzi jewelry I'm selling. All the kids' jewelry is a dollar, and the adult jewelry, which is the majority of what I have, is five dollars. I will be holding up a number. If you see something you like, you put in the number, and I will get your information and get you an invoice sent. If you have any other questions, please let me know. This next one is 514. This has the silver fish hook backs, these beautiful light blue pearl beads. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Gotcha. It's got the lobster claw and extender. It's a heavier chain. This is a longer necklace. It's got one of the light blue beads over here, three over here, and it comes down to the heavier chain here. Yeah, Deb just told me. She just poked her head in here and told me that that was your daughter. I know who you're talking about now. I'm familiar with her now. And then it's got the metallic silver beads here. And a pain in the butt down here, apparently, because it wants to... It is a doubled layer. It's a beautiful necklace. Okay, there we go. And it's got the simple chain hanging here. Just hanging there for that double layered look. And you come down and you got the all those beautiful light blue beads and silver beads hanging down at the bottom. And that's that layered look. And it is a long necklace. So this is where it would lay on you. A little bit, you could also make this shorter. But as it is here, that's how long it would be. And it is a beautiful necklace. And another vintage piece. So if you like this one, that is 514. Come here. 514 for this beautiful necklace. next one is 54. This has those beautiful silver fish hook backs and then that really pretty purple beads. This has the lobster claw and extender and it has the delicate chains by themselves but there's multiple chains here. There are four chains so it's a much thicker look to it. All right, listen here, Gypsy. There we go. The name of the necklace is Gypsy, so it's just want to give me a run for my money here. <laughs> and it does have the lobster claw and extender. But it has all those beautiful, delicate chains. So it has that multiple layered look on it. And then it comes down. And it has this silver bar. And hanging down from it is this medallion with that beautiful purple bead. With those studs around it. It kind of looks like a shield. And it comes up off there like that. And it's a beautiful purple. Hey, Granny. I'm sorry I didn't see you pop in. I was just going on about my crazy business over here. <laughs> sorry. 
But this is a beautiful necklace. My mom actually has this exact one. Okay, I sure will. Um, Ashley, everything, all the adult jewelry is $5. Everything is lead and nickel free. And all the kids jewelry is $1. And I do have some men's necklaces and men's bracelet and some kids earrings that I will re-show to you as soon as I show this piece, okay? Cool. And this beautiful gypsy necklace with that beautiful purple bead. I think this is a gorgeous necklace. And if you like that one, that is number 54. And I actually have another men's necklace that's very similar to that one. But I will show those bats again first. And these are kids' earrings, but adults can wear them, too, because I actually have a pair of these bats and a pair of the, um, some stud kid earrings, too. But these have the silver fish hook backs, and those have the little black and orange bats on them. And I do have two pairs of these in the black and orange. They're really cute. And these are only a dollar. If you like these, you can just say bats. And I'll know which ones you're talking about. Okay. So go ahead and get this other man's necklace down from here. This one is 322. This is a men's necklace with the lobster phone extender. It is a thicker chain. It's a heavier chain. Men, men's or women can wear this, but it's part of the men's line. And it's just an awesome, simple silver chain. Thanks, Granny. And this is one of those that you can just throw over your head and go. An awesome men's necklace in silver. 322 for this one. I have a bracelet that matches that perfectly. And it was just, there it is. <laughs> 317. This is a drawstring bracelet. So it is an urban bracelet. So it's got plenty of room, and that's just simply how you put it on to tighten it. And it's got that thicker silver chain, just like the necklace does. So it matches the necklace perfectly. And once again, this can be men's or women's, but this is specifically says for men on it. But. And that one is 317. This next one is 535. It has the lobster phone extender. This is a thinner men's necklace. It's not as wide here and it's not as heavy either, but it is longer. But it's still one of those awesome, just simple silver chains. It goes all the way down. But like I said, it is a longer necklace. But it's still got a great length to it. That's about the length of it. How it would look on. If you like that one, that is number 535. In silver. 535 men's necklace. That would also look good with that bracelet.
Okay. So I've showed all those pieces. I probably showed, I'm pretty sure I've showed more than four. So I will give y'all another trivia question. And Ashley, since you just popped on, I will give you the rules. Um, I asked the questions. This is Family Feud Trivia. I'm looking for the top three answers. The number one answer gets three entries. The number two answer gets two entries. And the number three answer gets one entry into the drawing for a free piece of jewelry. Okay, let's see. Oh, Lord. <laughs> that actually is a good question. Name a celebrity whose police mugshot was shown on the evening news. There's four answers. I'm looking for the top three. Name a celebrity whose police mugshot was shown on the evening news. <laughs> yeah, it is fun, Juan. It is, some of these questions are hilarious. Brad Pitt. Oh, uh, la 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 la. Brad Pitt's actually not on there, surprisingly. I'm kind of surprised by the number two answer, but. Name a celebrity whose police mugshot was shown on the evening news. Matt Damon. Nope. Matt Damon's not on there. I've never seen Matt Damon get in trouble, but um, I could be wrong. Don't give me I could be wrong. I've just never seen him. <laughs> they, these actually should be pretty easy. People make fun of, especially the number one answer, people make fun of her all the time. O.J. Simpson. <laughs> no. O.J. Simpson's actually not on there. He's also a celebrity, too. Felicity something. No, Felicity something's not on there. There's three girls and one guy. Ellen DeGeneres. No, she's not on there, either. Oh, it wasn't necessarily news for tonight, Granny. It's just overall. Who's been on, has their mugshot on the news in the past for doing something stupid. Is basically what it is. Hey, Ashley Clark, what are you doing, girl? How are you doing tonight? Martha Stewart. Actually, no, Martha Stewart's not on there either. Clue. Okay. I'll give you a clue. Um, I'll give you a clue for, I will try to give you a clue. Roseanne Barr was not on there. I'll try to give you a clue for the, to, for the top three answers. Um, number one... Oh, Lord. <laughs> What's the clue to give for... and not completely give that away? Um, if you know the movie Freaky Friday, she played in that movie. She also played in um, the new Parent Trap movie. She's got a beach house thing on MTV right Yeah. Uh, the number two answer... Oh, Lord. I don't know what clue to give for that one. I'll come back to that one. And, oh, God. Uh, the number three answer, every time I think of her name, I think of the name of a hotel. You got it, Deb. Lindsay Lohan. That's the number one answer. We're still looking for the number two answer and the number three answer. But the number three answer, the clue for that one is... Nope, not Clinton. Paris Hilton, Rachel, you got the number, number three answer. Still looking for the number two answer. 
I need Matt's help with this. Matt. Hey. Nicole. Well, I do, but I don't. I don't know. I don't know the best clue to give for that one. Okay. <laughs> the the this one is hard to to think of anything that to give you a clue on the number two answer. Um, her first name is my middle name. If that helps some of y'all. My middle name is Nicole. Now y'all give give me her last name. How about that? That's the best I can do for it because I have no clue what to tell y'all on that one. Okay, Deb got the number one answer, so she gets two entries. I'm telling you that number two answer, I, I just, I'm just, just like I don't know. Because I'm totally spacing on what she would have played in. No, not Nicole Smith. Good, in, good guess, though. And Twin got the number three answer. Her last name starts with a R. How about that? Is that better? First name is Nicole. Last name starts with an R. Got you, Rachel. Nicole Richie. Oh, okay. I can't think of anything she played in. I'm just totally spacing on that. And it was a harder one, so I was like, I don't know. I didn't either. Yeah, you got it, twin. So I'll give y'all all the answers. The number one answer was Lindsay Lohan. Number two answer was Nic Nicole Richie. Number three answer was Paris Hilton. And the number four answer was Mel Gibson. I said celebrity whose mugshot was on the evening what news. That's what I said. <laughs> you saw the what? Matt, Matt. Matt Damon was on there a couple days. Well, maybe this was older. <laughs> okay. That one was kind of crazy. Okay. This next piece is 466. This has the silver fish hook back earrings. Then it has these beautiful brown pearl beads. It's got the lobster claw and extender. It's got the smaller brown beads coming down to here. And it comes into the bigger beads, like the medium sized beads. And then it has a large brown bead in the center. And then it has the little silver with clear encrusted rhinestones as the spacers in between each one of the bigger beads. It is a beautiful piece. And it will look amazing for fall. Really pretty piece. This is a short necklace also, and it's also the only one I have. Hey, Valerie. Hey, Lisa. Try to make sure I didn't miss anybody as y'all came in, because... Like I said, it's it's kind of it's kind of crazy on this end. Okay, that is a beautiful brown beaded necklace, and it is a short necklace that will come to about here on. And if you like that one, that is number four sixty six. This 
next one is 59. It has the silver fishing backs. It has a beautiful kind of marbleized blue discs on there. They're really pretty. It has the lobster claw and extender. And it is a thinner chain here and a little bit heavier of a chain. It is a double layered necklace. So if you come down, you got the silver beads here. More of the flat blue beads. Another silver bead. All the way down. And then it has a simple silver chain here to make it look like it has a three layered effect. It is a really beautiful necklace. And it is a long necklace. It can be doubled up though. But that's about what it will look like on. It's really pretty. And this is an extremely vintage piece. This one cannot be gotten off the website anymore. It cannot be ordered at all. So if you like that beautiful triple layered necklace, that's number 59. This one is a really pretty one. I like this one because this one looks like it would make an amazing Christmas gift. This next one is 86. It has the silver fish hook back earrings. And then it's got these beautiful clear rhinestones that are a little bit bigger than what you normally see on the earrings. So it makes them even shine even more and more blingy. It does have the lobster claw and extender. A dainty chain. This is a short necklace, but it can be a little bit longer with that extender. And then it comes down to that beautiful encrusted. It, well, it looks like, to me, it looks like a wreath. That's why I think it would like make a beautiful Christmas gift. Because it, it looks like a clear rhinestone encrusted wreath. And it is beautiful. Currently, this is the only one I have. I might have another one soon, but currently, this is the only one I have like this. And it is a beautiful, simple necklace. So if you like this one, you better snag it now because it might not be here when you come back. And if you like that one, that is number 86. Okay, this piece is 85. This is a bracelet with a triple snap closure. This is black leather. It's got the silver studs and then the white lacing. Well, it's kind of a whitish silver lacing. But it's got silver studs, the lacing all the way down it. Put it on to show you what it looks like. Get that darn tag out of the way. And this has got the so many snaps on it. It should fit anybody because it's got the three snaps, so you can make it smaller or bigger. And that's what it looks like on. It's a really awesome, simple bracelet with the silver studs and the lacing on it. And if you like that one, that is number 85. To the black leather bracelet with the silver studs and the white laces. And that is on the, as you can see, that is on the third, third one. And it's still got room in there. And I have a thicker wrist. So it could fit anybody. 
and that is number 85. And that is also a vintage bracelet. This next one is 55. This has the silver fish hook backs. It comes down and it's got this kind of triangular looking green beads. And the center of those studded silver bars. It almost looks like it's the center of a target. They're kind of raised up off there in that beautiful green beading. It does have the lobster claw and extender. It's a heavier chain. And then it comes down to all those beautiful beads. It's really pretty. It's got the smaller ones and the bigger ones. And the one in the center is a bigger one. It's a really beautiful necklace in that beautiful green. I do have two of these. And if you like that one, that is 55. I'll message you just a second, call in and explain. This one is number 84. This has the loop and bead closure because it's our urban necklace. It's one of those really simple necklaces. This can be worn by either a man or a woman. Love you too. And you can just slip it through that, and it's right there, it's on. And it's got that black braided look to it. It's like a paracord. This is a shorter necklace, and it comes down to this really cool intertwined, it looks like three silver infinity symbols intertwined. And this is an urban necklace, so it can be for a man or a woman. And it is a vintage piece. You cannot get this infinity symbol urban necklace anymore. So it would hang about right here on because it is a shorter necklace. Really cool necklace. And if you like that one, that is number 84. I'll show y'all one more piece and then I'll give you another question. This next one is 82. This is the silver thin stretch band ring. And then on this side, it's got that beautiful teardrop clear rhinestone at the top with the silver hearts along the band. And this one is called Twinkling Tiara because it's supposed to look like a little tiara when you have it on. And that's what it looks like on. I'm trying to get my ring out of the way so you can see it. See it in all its beautiful glory. It is a beautiful ring. And if you like that one, that is number 82 for the Twinkling Tiara Ring. 82.
All right, I'm going to give y'all another question. Okay, let's see here. Okay, here's a good one. Name something little kids hate to do. There are eight answers to this question. I'm only looking for the top three. Name something little kids hate to do. That could be a lot of things. <laughs> Name something kids hate to do. Did y'all fall asleep? Okay, there we go. I'm sorry. It was it popped all up and I didn't see y'all's answers because of all the waves things that it po keeps popping up on there. Let me make sure that um I'm seeing the first answer first. Okay. Let me go back. Okay. Dishes. Mm, that's actually not on there. Go to bed. Uh, that's number four. A bath. Rachel? Yes, that is the number one answer. A bath. Let me get a couple of those here. So you got the number one answer, twin. School. Uh, not school specifically. There's one on there related to school, but it's not one of the number three answers. Uh, clean their room. Clean their room is actually number three, Deb. So you got one inch. No. Hold on. Yeah, one entry. So Deb's got one entry. Twins got three entries so far. I'm still looking for the number two answer. Eat. Eat what specifically, twin? Is something specific on the list that they don't like to eat? pick up their toys. I think that coincides with the clean up their room thing, Deb. Get dressed. That's not on there. Trash? Nope. Trash is not on there. Homework. Yeah, homework is the number five answer. Veggies. Yep, that's it. They don't like to eat their veggies. You got that, twin. So you got two more entries. All right. Now I'll give y'all all the answers now. Number one was take a bath. Number two was eat vegetables. Three was clean their room. 
excuse me, four was go to bed on time. Five was homework. Six was brush teeth. Seven was go to church. And eight was go to the doctor. I got so thirsty. Numbers for days everywhere. Okay. Got these three pieces in front of me. I might as well show them. This next one is 83. This has the thin silver stretch band. And on this side, it has that green stone in the center and it's got a clear rhinestone at the top the bottom and on each side and it's got the two clear rhinestones here and here on each side it is a beautiful ring and if you like that one that is number 83 for the green ring. 83. This next one is 471. It's also a thin stretch band in silver. And on this side, it's got the raised up silver. Almost looks like leaves coming up from it. All the little peekaboo designs in it. And then it's got that green teardrop bead in the center. It is a beautiful ring. And the green, that green seems to be a really popular color. Because either this ring or the previous ring I showed would look great with that green necklace I showed earlier. It is a beautiful ring. Let's turn to the side there. That's what it looks like on. And that is number 471 for that beautiful ring. Showing one, I'm showing uh, how many more pieces I got to show. Oh, I think I've got two more pieces to show before I have another question. One second. This next one is 585. Has the silver fish hook backs. And then it comes down to these beautiful vintage looking earrings. It's kind of got a, um, a Victorian look to them. It's got all that filigree work in there. And then in that center, those are silver crackle stones. And it's got the danglies hanging down. That kind of looks like little seeds hanging down from there that dangle. And those silver crackle earrings. Those are really beautiful vintage earrings. And they look so Victorian style. 
and they would go with absolutely anything. Beautiful earrings. There we go. That shows up better. And you like these beautiful Victorian style earrings? That is number 585. Silver Crackle. 585. And I just love this set here, so. And it is an amazingly beautiful vintage set that cannot be got anymore. This is number 534. I'm going to show the necklace first. Alright, come here, you. The earrings decided to wrap around each other. It's got rose gold fish hook backs, and it comes down to these beautiful hanging rose gold hearts. So this is not regular gold. This is that beautiful pink tinted rose gold. It has the lobster claw and extender. It has a double chain. It's a kind of a dainty chain. But it makes it thicker with the double layer. And then it comes down to all these beautiful hearts intertwined together. That beautiful rose gold. This is a beautiful piece. I love rose gold. And the hearts make it even prettier. This would make a beautiful Christmas present. And then this is the beautiful matching bracelet. And it's not one of those hard bracelets that it is to get on because it has the toggle closure that just comes out of the heart and just slips right back in. Take it on and off so easily. It's a really beautiful, beautiful piece. So you can either do 534 necklace. 534 bracelet or 534 set and that beautiful rose gold 534 hmm. it's hard to tell if we got enough people on to keep playing I might. I don't know. If you're still on, drop me a message. It's hard to tell on my end because you, you just never can tell sometimes. So if you're still on, drop me a message so I know if we still have enough to uh, do another trivia question. And until then, I will show some more jewelry. Hey Rachel and Deb, I see you. This next one is 509. This has the silver fish hook backs and it comes down to these beautiful detailed silver leaves. It has a lobster claw and extender. It is a heavier chain, short necklace. Then it comes down to all these beautiful silver leaves. Kind of sounds like a wind chime. It's really pretty and something that you could wear with anything and that's about how it would hang on you it is a beautiful necklace and I do have two of these and that beautiful silver leaves that is number 509 
Okay. I will give y'all another question then. Uh, let's see. one it's got six answers if you were to be arrested and could make only one phone call who would you call if you were arrested and you could only make one phone call who would you call Okay, let me get to the, make sure I'm at the beginning of the, of the <laughs> answers here. Okay, your mom, parent is number two, so that's two entries for you, twin. Friend is number five. Husband or spouse is number one, so that's three more entries. Okay. Dennis, <laughs> yeah, it would be your husband. Rachel got that answer first, though. Your dad, that would include in your parent. Lawyer, lawyer is number three. So you got the, you got one entry, Deb. Okay, I will give y'all all the answers. Number one was spouse. Number two was parent. Number three was lawyer. Number four was sibling. Number five was friend. And number six was bail bondsman. All right, let's see here. I will show four more pieces and then I will do the drawing and then I'll let y'all off here for so y'all can enjoy the rest of y'all's night. All right, this next one is 306. This has, let me get this adjusted here. This has the silver fish hook back earrings, and it's got those beautiful blue rhinestones in there. It's got the lobster claw and extender, and it's got a double chain. You come down, and you got blue rhinestones on both chains on both sides come down you got the light pink rhinestones those beautiful light pink rhinestones on both sides and then you come farther down and you have the beautiful hot pink rhinestones so you got blue light pink and hot pink rhinestones all the way down and it has a 
Ford layered look to it. So it looks like it's got four chains here. So it looks like it would be four layers without as many chains to be kind of crazy. This is about how the necklace would come down, about the length of it as it sits. You could make this shorter or you could even double this up to make it shorter that way. This is a beautiful necklace. I love all the beautiful rhinestones in this one. And if you like that one, that is number 306. That beautiful necklace, 306. This next one is a vintage piece. And it is a beautiful necklace. This is 292. It has the silver fish hook back earrings. And then it's got comes down to these three black beads. It has the lobster claw and extender. Silver heavier chain. And then it comes down to all these cascading tassels. With all those beautiful black beads intertwined in there. And if you kind of look at it closely, it kind of looks like either a, a plus sign or a cross, depending on how you look at it. But it hangs down really beautifully. So that can be dressed or, up or down. Looks so pretty. And this is the last one I have left like this. And that beautiful, beautiful necklace. It looks great with this shirt, too. But, I right, gotta focus. <laughs> gotta focus. Don't you like that beautiful necklace? That is number 292. Alright, this next piece is 515. This is another vintage piece. This is a stretch bracelet. And it's got all those beautiful bright green rhinestones on it. Smaller ones and the larger ones. Like I said, it is a stretch bracelet. And it is a beautiful green. And I do have two of these. If you like that, that would actually make a beautiful Christmas bracelet. If you like that one, that is number 515. And I do have two. This next one is 539. It has the silver fish hook back earrings and it comes down to these silver it almost looks like a, le a number eight wrapped around each other there really beautiful earrings it's got a lobster clone extender and it is the thicker chain and it is a double chain short necklace and then it comes down to this intertwined of the symbol little eight symbols and it kind of looks like a chain chain kind of like a chain link and it is another beautiful piece that silver would go with absolutely anything kind of looks like a piece you would see on a really elegant person and i do have two of these and this being in silver, this would go with anything. And you could wear it with either a dress or just jeans. Beautiful silver necklace. Short one. And that is number 539 if you like that piece. And I do have two. 539. Oh, 
What in the world? I ended up dropping over her. No clue. Hey, Rhonda. I'm just now seeing that, so I don't know if she's still on or not. And Angel, hi. I hate the way that thing is just acting all crazy. It completely messes me up when I'm trying to acknowledge everybody as they come in. I really hope that doesn't continue to do that from now on. This is number 518. This is a four pack of bracelets. They are stretchy. This one has the silver round beads. Two of the strands have the iridescent beads, the silver beads, and those hot pink beads. And these, the silver ones, have the clear rhinestones in them. And the fourth strand has the kind of flat silver round beads and these are four separate bracelets and silver and hot pink this is another vintage piece it is a beautiful piece that is number 518 so those four pack of stretch bracelets okay I'm going to show one more piece and then do the drawing. Get in there. And this one, I'm not going to put a number with it. I just wanted to show y'all this one because I learned something new about these. Because this is a very vintage piece. It is the clip-on earrings. And it's kind of got a diamond look to it. And it's like a triple layer diamond look with those smoky silver rhinestones in there. And even if you don't wear clip-ons or you're not crazy about clip-ons for whatever reason... I learned a new way that you can wear these is you can wear them to decorate your hair with which means you can just clip them into your hair I'm not gonna actually clip them into my hair but you can clip them into your hair and decorate with them you can also clip them onto your clothes your dress to bling it up a little bit and you can also clip them onto like your flip-flops your other shoes to give them a little extra bling. I thought that was a really neat idea. So they're not just clip-on earrings. You can use them to decorate your hair, your clothes, or your shoes with. Anything like that. And those are really beautiful with those silver rhinestones. And if you like those, you can just say clip-ons. Because this is the only pair of clip-ons I have, so I will know exactly what you're talking about. Those beautiful clip-on earrings. Okay. I've got a lot of names in here. So I'm going to shake up my bling bling here and see who wins. All right. Make sure to get them nice and shook it up. Okay. Shocker. Rachel. You won the free piece. Twin, you get a free piece of jewelry.
Rachel B. All right, you are the winner of the free piece. Okay, that is all I'm going to do for tonight. It is nine o'clock, so that has been a good heck yeah. Yep, yep, you sure did. That has been a good long live. So I'm going to go ahead and get off here. Remember, you can always watch the replay and go back and look and see if there's something you would like. Uh, if you see something you like, you can give me a screenshot, describe it, or give me the number of the piece. And if it's still available, I will get it to you. Remember, all adult jewelry is $5. Kids jewelry is a dollar. And you can always go to my website at the bottom to shop for many other varieties of jewelry. And it will be sent straight to your house. And also, if you have any more questions about the jewelry, or by chance you would like to be on this end doing what I do, and selling jewelry and acting kind of goofy sometimes <laughs> and making 45 percent commission i would love for you to join my team if you're interested in that just send me a message and i'll answer all the questions that you have be happy to all right y'all have a good night bye